Hi, we're the Boomer Shines, and we've done just under 6,000 6, miles, miles of the Great American Loop, and we've learned a thing or two along the way that we would like to share with you. So we're starting a new series called Loop Scoop, and we will share our pearls of wisdom as we finish up the loop and before we have time to edit all of our adventures. We just wanted to share some things before we forget them. So, this is episode number one, and I'm calling it the Key to the Keys Marinas. This is the information that I was looking for when we first started the loop because everybody kept saying, have you booked your marina in the Keys? Are you going to the Keys? Where are you going to stay at the Keys? And it was, um, it was hard for me to kind of sort out what... Like over a year out. Yeah, and, and, and I just I was a little overwhelmed. I didn't quite understand what they were all meaning. No one would really share a lot of info because slips are competitive. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> so here's what we've learned. So thus far, we have gone from Key West all the way to Key Largo. I researched the heck out of everything. I am a geek that way. Don't get me started on the best eco-friendly toilet paper or detergents. I research. I'm a researcher. I like Surprise, surprise. <laughs> I like the best, and the best isn't always the most expensive. It's like me. I'm the best. I'm not the most expensive, but... <laughs> That's hilarious. So I have three tips, and then I will share my ideal best itinerary. First is a little geography lesson. Most people come down the west coast of Florida, and from like um, Naples or Marco Island, they'll hop over to Key West. Key West is the southernmost of the Keys. The Keys are about 180 miles long, and there's like 800 islands. But the the big ones, the big ones are Key West, Marathon, Isle Morada, and Key Largo. Now, there's tons of anchorages. We're not going to get into that. The, you're going to want to to get a marina slip. So, to do that, or you may want a marina slip. I don't know. But here, here are my three. Assume you're a marina person and yes. you're not an anchor person. Okay, so here are the three tips. Number one, book early. So to Mark's point, the sooner you book, the better. They think they book the marina, the Keys Marina's book a year out, and they're not joking. So as soon as you know you want to be um, in the Keys, if you're doing the loop and you want to be in the Keys for winter, book a slip. Now, I freaked out because I didn't know exactly when to book it but just let's just say January and February yes do your best and then you can adjust from there so that's tip number one is book early tip number two if you're like us and you didn't book early ask to be put on the marina's wait list everybody that we talked to had a wait list and no one really knows where they're going to be a year from now boats break down things happen they may plans. know where they're going to be but the boat may not yeah. cooperate the plans. weather may not cooperate yeah. somebody might get sick there's plans so many factors change so put yourself on the waiting list if you don't get in so don't worry we got off some waiting lists so just that's tip number two Ask. and that could be a few days in advance of you coming in too i mean if you're not yeah. long term somebody might their engine may have blown up and there's a slip over there that's empty yeah so asked to be put on a waiting list no one volunteered to do that for me i had to ask and then tip number three is try to stay for a month the way marinas price they they price per foot per night typically but in the keys they have a monthly rate as well so the way it works out in a lot of places you could stay for 10 nights at the nightly rate or roughly 10 nights or for less money you, for the same money you could stay for a whole month at the monthly rate so that is an awesome way to do the keys just pick one marina and stay there for a month now what is the best marina you may ask so now what is the best marina in the keys <laughs> the best jerry the best the best again is not the most expensive the most expensive place we stayed is not the best in my opinion. In our opinion. In our opinion. It didn't match. The price for the amenities didn't match. So, <clears throat> Or the buildup or the expectation. Yes. So if I, and I don't want to like, all, everything's great. Being in the Keys is great. Life on a boat is great. So I don't want to bash any place that we've stayed. But I will tell you, if I were to do it again, this is how I'd do it. I'd come into Key West and I'd spend a few nights in downtown Key West. Key West is a really cool old town. There's things to do, there's sights to see. It's saucy. It's so. not a sleepy little village, although some people said it's crazy during the day and surprisingly quiet at night. 
Yeah, well, I I would just stay in the heart of it. And there's a handful of marinas that are all right there. And they're like, each dock is its own marina. We did not stay down there. So I don't know which is the best. But they're all clumped together. And I don't think there's a lot of amenities. But stay there for a few nights so you can really explore Key West easily. Um, so I would do that for a few nights. Mm -hmm. Then I'd probably go around to Stock Island. And I forgot to mention, Stock Island is like a suburb of Key West. It's basically... a you know connected by a, a very short little tiny bridge um, and you can go back and forth from Stock Island to Key West but I would go from downtown Key West 35 minutes on a shuttle bus yeah not even that maybe 20 minutes anyway I would go and I would stay at the Perry Hotel for a few nights lots of loopers stay at the Perry it is looper it's like a looper parking lot with awesome amenities yes it is so I would stay there for a few nights two pools bar, restaurants, restaurants, ice cream shop. Um, they have a free shuttle that'll take you to and from Key West. So if you didn't get enough Key West or you don't want to actually stay in downtown Key West, the Perry's a great alternative. Free shuttle is key. Yeah, free shuttle is key. And I spent a few nights there. Then I would spend a month at Marlin Bay in Marathon. I agree with you. <laughs> we love Marlin Bay. Now Marlin Bay is like the place you go, you pull in, you're just living at a resort. For a month you're not getting the culture of being down in key west but there's a bus that'll take you down there and um it is the nicest marina we've stayed at however caveat marina. if you don't use the shower in your boat and you don't have a washer dryer then they don't have those amenities for it well they have one bathroom and they don't have a washer dryer they have one shower that's located in the workout facility with the sauna and the spa so um, if you want to shower off your boat, you have to like, it's just logistically not as easy as a lot of marinas. So it is not designed for people who are using the bathrooms off their boat and it does not have on-site laundry, but they do have a service that will pick up your laundry. Obviously you pay for that. It is um, our favorite. So that is episode number one of Loop Scoop, our key to the keys, our tips and tricks. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, happy to share any wisdom and knowledge that we have about the keys now that we've done it and make your life a little easier. And um, yeah, if you wouldn't mind picking up two pieces of trash a day, that'd be awesome. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Good luck That's with your planning. Yeah. Shine, Shine on. on.